So in this tutorial, we're going to make a really cool hover effect in Elementor. So if I go and hover over this can, you can see how it opens up and that a whole text heading and button appear. Really cool and unique effect. I was inspired by someone else and I decided to make this work for the containers and that in Elementor. If you're in a hurry and you just want to download the complete template, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. It's going to take you to this page on my website. All you have to do is go and download it. Once you've downloaded the zip file, all you have to do is go and extract the contents. And you're going to be using this file over here, the product animation template file. So on a new page, once you've had Elementor load up, all you have to do is click on this add templates button. The library is going to open up and we're going to click on this button over here that says import template so over here we take this template file we drag it across into this window we let go we say continue do give it a minute for it to import all the images for you it does take a little bit of time once it's there then you'll see the coke product hover animation template so all you have to do is say insert and there you go so you'll be able to use it immediately so all you have to do is if you want to change any of these things you can just click on the heading there will be the, the heading over there. If you want to change the text, you can change the text, the button link, you can add whatever link you want. And for those of you who want to actually build this yourself, let's go and do that right now. So here on a blank page, the very first thing is we have to make sure that the navigator is open. So it's the structure window over here. It's that button right over there. If you don't have it, we are going to be referring to it and we're going to be changing names to containers and that sort of thing. So it's just very helpful. So we're going to start this off with our first container. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, Flexbox and this first container right there. For the settings of this container, we're going to keep it at boxed. The width, we're going to make sure it's in pixels and we're going to say that this is 650. The min height, we're going to change to VH and we're going to set this to 100. The justify content, we're just going to put it at center. And then in additional options, the overflow, we are going to set to hidden. Okay, so now we set the overflow to hidden, we're going to put in a background image. Under style, under this classic, we're going to add the image there. Now, in the description of this video as well, there's going to be a link that's going to take you to the reference page so with everything you need to build this out. So if you go follow that link, it's going to take you to this page over here. If you scroll down, this button over here will download all the images that I'm using over here. And then this is going to be the code that we're going to be using. So if you want to follow along and copy it exactly, these are the images over here you're going to need. Now, back in the editor, here for this image, I'm going to choose that splash. I'm going to say select i'm going to say the image resolution is full it's fine the position is going to be center center repeat is no repeat and the size is cover now this is a little bit strong so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to background overlay the color i'm going to set this to white and i'm going to put this to about a 72. now on the right hand side i'm going to change this name from container i'm just going to call this section so inside here we're going to add a container and the name of this we're going to call it the trigger Okay, so for the settings of this trigger container, we don't have to actually do it much over here on the layout. What we're going to concentrate on is on advanced. So over here, we're going to change the padding. We're going to put the top to 75, right 25, bottom 75, and left 25. Now under CSS classes, we're going to need a name for this. So on the reference page, if we go past this button, here are the two CSS names. This reboot container, we're going to copy that one and then paste that right here. Now, this is the container that we're going to be putting the code in, but we're not going to do it now. We're going to finish off the rest of the layouts and then we'll come back to this. Now, inside this container, we're going to need two things. We're going to need another container to house all the text and we're going to need the image. So the first thing we're going to do is going to click on this plus sign, going to take that image, put it in, plus sign again, container and put it in. Now the image for now, we're just going to leave it. We're going to go backwards a bit over here. So we're going to start off with the container. This we're going to change the name to text content. Now inside this container, I'm going to go get a heading. I am going to go get the text editor and I'm going to go get the button. Now for the settings of this button, I'm going to say that the text is going to say read more. The style, I'm going to make the text black and I'm going to make the background white. So it'll look just like that. Then for this text over here, all I'm going to do is go to style and make the text color white. And then for the heading, I'm going to change the title to taste the magic. Then under style, I'm going to put this to white. Then for typography, I think I'm just going to make this a 32. Put the line height at about 1.2 and the letter spacing at about a 0.5. Then transform, I think I'm also going to put this uppercase. Then while we're in the settings here, I'm going to go into mobile and it's going to put this at a 28 just to make it a little bit smaller on mobile so it fits nicely. So now back in desktop mode, 
Just make sure that these three widgets are inside this text container before carrying on there so that you don't have any errors or anything there. Now for the settings of this text container, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to advanced and we're going to uncheck the margin linkage and the left we're going to set this at 20 pixels. We're going to do the same thing with padding, uncheck the link and put 20 padding on that as well. Now for the CSS class names, we're going to have to put something in here. So if we go to the reference page, it is going to be this reboot text over here. Copy that over and paste it right there. Now you notice that there's no background color over here. We don't need it because the background color is going to be put in with the code and you'll be able to change it inside the code as well. So it's very easy and easy to find. Now let's go over to this image. So if we click on this image, the image settings over here, we are going to add that Coke can. I'm going to say select. Then the resolution is fine. We can just leave it like that. And the style, the alignment, I'm going to put as center. Everything else over here is fine. But while I'm here on this page, I'm going to go to the width. I'm going to click on this desktop icon. I'm going to put it to mobile. I'm going to change this percentage to pixels. And I'm going to say that this is 180. Now let's flip back into desktop mode. And we're going to go over to advanced. What we're going to go look for is the position. We're going to say absolute. The horizontal orientation, we're going to be putting this to the right. The offset, we're going to change this from pixels to percentage. And we're going to say that this is 36. Then if you scroll down to vertical, the top is fine. We're going to change this to percentage and put it at 11. Now, while we're here, we're gonna go back up to the top and this margin, we're gonna click on this desktop icon and we're gonna go into mobile because we're gonna change some settings over here so it fits a little bit better. Now, for this margin, we're gonna unlink it and the top margin, we're gonna say 110. And then if we scroll down to this horizontal and vertical orientation, this horizontal orientation, we're gonna change back to pixels and we're gonna put this at 69. And this vertical orientation, we can leave it on percentage and we can say eight. Now we're done setting up all the widgets we need for this tutorial. So now if we go back into desktop mode, let's start adding that code. So we're gonna make sure we're in the trigger container under advanced, we go down to the bottom to the custom CSS to have this window open. Now, if you go back into my reference page, this code here, we're gonna copy paste this. So we're gonna say copy, go back and paste it right there because now we have all the code in place now you can see it working pretty well but you can also see that this text over here is actually overflowing over the image over here so what we're going to do is click on this make sure that you i have selected it then under advanced the width we're going to change this to custom and we're going to say that this is pixels and we're going to say that this is 320. Now you can see that it's in a much better place over there. Now the reason why it's actually offset over here and not in the center of the circle, because in my example, I had a lot more text. So there is something just to pay attention of. So the more text that you add here, let me just show you now quick. You can see it's changing the position of the can itself. So depending on how much you actually put in, you'll have to change the offset of the actual image, which is very easy to do. So say that I have this amount of text over here and I'm happy so it's in the center. But if I had less, so let me take this by half, you can see it offsets the image. So what we do is we just make sure that we are on the image, go to advanced and the vertical orientation, we can just set this back until where you are happy with the text. So now if we hover over, you can see it's now in the center and it stays in the center when you're hovering. So it all depends on how much text that you put in here you're going to have to change this vertical, this vertical orientation just to offset it. Now to change the colors and other types of positioning of this, if we go back into the trigger under advanced, in the CSS, you can see that here's a transition speed so we can actually set it slower, say three and a half seconds. So you can see how it just goes slower to do that whole sort of thing. But 0.5 was perfect for me. And here you can change the circle color that's actually behind the Coke can. So if you wanted this, to be say blue for, as an example you can see that now it's blue and it goes into that whole red thing so you can change whatever you want there and then the content background this is going to be that red color over here again you can set this to whatever so if i just say blue here as the example and you have over there's that blue so you can put in any hex code or whatever you need there another thing you can change over here is the border radius so when you have it you can see there's this border radius happening over there so if I change this to say 50 pixels, you can see how it rounds out a lot more. So you can play around with that over there as well. This mob height, this is the mobile height. So now if we go into mobile view and you hover over this, you can change the different spacing over here with that whole mob height. So if I change this to 300 and I hover over, you can see it's a lot closer 
to the rest of the content. So you do have those options there. Now, if you have a different type of can, it's not the same dimensions as this original one. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that here's that responsive styles. This is the settings for the actual image. You can play around with the right and tops and, and that sort of thing just to get your image perfectly aligned the way you want. And this settings over here is for the text. So if you're not happy with how the whole box is set, you can go and change those settings there. Very easy. Everything is labeled for you to actually go play around with. And I do welcome it because everything else is also labeled in normal mode as well. So whatever image you're going to put in, it'll definitely work. You just have to play around with some of these settings here. But the main ones are put right on the top for just easy access. So now if we preview it, there you can see our whole thing working perfectly. Really cool animation, not something you see every day. And it's completely mobile friendly. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.